Hi. Welcome to the segment of the day I like to call three people that inspired me recently. I'm Z Gala, the art angel. By the way, this is the Head Hut, a mega sculpture which I built myself. And this is a project I've been stepping more and more fully into with the hopes that I can inspire you to reflect more on what inspires you <laughs> as I reflect more on what inspires me. I really just think it's uh, definitely, it's along the lines of reflecting on what we're grateful for, reflecting on what inspires us, helps us check in with being grateful for the things that inspire us and also hopefully cultivating more of whatever those things are in ourselves. So um, the people and things that inspire me are embodiments of aspects that I would like to cultivate more of in my life. So by sharing them with you, it helps me reflect on that for myself and as I mentioned, hopefully inspires you to do the same for yourself. So um, if you do that, please do share what's inspiring you, who's inspiring you, why you feel inspired in the comments so that I and others can benefit from your reflection. That said, the three people that came to mind today, I try to do it in a 24-hour segment. I'm a I am always give myself permission to break my own rules, but that's my general guideline. So um, today I will be following that guideline and giving you three things about three people who've inspired me in the last 24 hours. The first one that comes to mind is Peter Sage. He is an online coach, a self-mastery coach, and I've been following his program for about a year, actually almost exactly a year. And in that time, I have really been inspired many times and been and benefited a lot from his program. So do recommend if that resonates with you at all. But the, the three things that came to mind um, or are coming to mind right now that he has inspired me in just in the last 24 hours as I was listening to one of his audio recordings and also watching a couple of his videos. Uh, one is his really super capacity. I'm not sure what the word is for it, but um, he's a tall, fit man. He's been cultivating fitness and successful entrepreneurialism most or all of his life, and that shows. He's probably a little bit younger than me, but not all that much younger, um, in pretty good shape. Does a lot of amazing things like skydiving and marathon running and lots of interviews, uh, leading groups, and I find that inspiring. So there's one way that he inspires me. Another way is related to that. He's holding himself to a pretty high standard. And I know from my own experience, sometimes when you hold yourself to a high standards, or not sometimes, with that comes a lot of criticism from people who want to hold themselves to lower standards. Of course, people will criticize us no matter what we do. That's a lesson I learned over and over again. So you might as well do what feels best to you. Um, but he really does hold himself to a high standard. And, and in that, I mean, uh, like the segment I was just listening to today was about health and wellness. And he talks about how most of the things we call diseases are really symptoms of us not making good choices in our life. And that's something I have believed for a long time, even as someone who struggles with chronic illness. In fact, it is that struggle that has brought that to my awareness. And I really um, appreciate that he's willing to say that out loud because again, it's not a super popular uh, topic or way of stating things these days. A lot of people are really leaning heavily into the feeling of being a victim or the story about not being able to hold themselves to a high standard because of this, that, the other thing. And I've certainly been around that loop myself 
enough times to know it's really just a bullshit story that holds us back. So I really am inspired by Peter Sage's willingness to kind of break the spell of that story and stand boldly in the forefront, in the front of an audience literally many times and say that's really just a story you're telling yourself that isn't entirely true. Um, that is something I aspire to cultivate more of in my own life, so I'm inspired by his willingness and ability to do that. Another way that he inspires me is his outpouring of content. He's just really prolific. He does a lot of courses. He does a lot of interviews. He's, a, he's a, literally a go-getter, and that's something I also aspire to be. And again, it's easy to hold ourselves back sometimes because we're afraid of other people's criticism or what other people will think. But ultimately, criticism and what Peter Sage calls goop, the good opinions of other people, those will always be there, always an option for telling ourselves a story about why we should or shouldn't push forward into what we want. But I find his willingness to push through that very inspiring. He pushes through the goop. So there you have three things about Peter Sage that have inspired me just in the last 24 hours. His um, exceptional human ability and capacity to do great things. His uh, willingness to push through the good opinions of other people and do those things. And his willingness to say unpopular things in order to hold himself to a high standard. Those are all things I want to cultivate more of in my life and I appreciate his inspiration in that. Another second person that's inspired me in the last 24 hours that comes to mind is my mother. And I may have mentioned her before. She inspires me in negative and positive ways as I think many of our mothers do. But yesterday we had lunch together and it was on the positive side, thankfully. And she's been struggling with some new health stuff this year and doing mostly better, I'm happy to say, recently. Um, but it, through those ups and downs of these new health challenges, I have seen her be relentlessly positive. And that's something about my mother that has inspired me many times, but inspires me again, even as... Sometimes we disagree, and even as she's uh, sometimes struggling more than she has in the past, she brings herself around quickly to a more positive outlook um, and tends to see the positive side of things. For an example, her bike got stolen again this year for a second time in one year, and she promptly went out and got herself a new one and just embraced um, the positive sides of that, like maybe her older one was a little too big for her now that she's had some more health challenges. Um, this new one she got can be folded up and fit in her car. Just an example, she tends to always look for the positive in things, and I find that inspiring. Um, another way that my mother inspires me is by her willingness to be different. Um, of course, some of us can't help it. We're just wired and drawn differently, and my mother and I certainly fall into that category. I think on some level, we all fall into that category, but all of us are different. Some of us are more different than others. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know where that's a reference to. It's kind of an obscure reference, but in any case, I love, super love, love it the most, her willingness to embrace her own uniqueness and not shy away from it, not back down from it. Um, even if sometimes it does hold her back from participating in ways that other people might consider a flaw or a fallibility, she's happy, happily being her own unique self in her own unique way. And she does that pretty relentlessly and I find that inspiring. Um, a third way that she inspires me is her curiosity. When she's curious, of course, we all wax and wane in that. Curiosity is one of my core values, 
and sometimes my mother doesn't embrace that fully and in those times it inspires me in the inverse kind of way but in the last 24 hours it she was being more actively curious and so that inspired me she was really diving more deeply into some of the details of her own health issues and um yeah, I am inspired by curiosity on the grand scale, and I was inspired by my mother's willingness to step into curiosity in the last 24 hours. So there you have three things about the second person that's inspired me in the last 24 hours. That is positivity, curiosity, and a willingness to embrace uniqueness from my mother. And last, but certainly not, not least, a person who's inspired me in the last 24 hours and again has inspired me before is a person I haven't met directly but I've interacted with a little bit online and that's Lisa Bilyeu. She is the supportive and proud and beautiful wife of Tom Bilyeu and Tom has been a coach of mine actively and passively over many years now and Lisa is an entrepreneur in her own right and an author and a beautiful human and she inspires me in the way that she supports Tom first of all as a supportive wife and that might sound a little convoluted but um there's a lot a lot of layers to that one of them is that she i think for not i think i know for years she supported Tom as he developed his own entrepreneurial skills and successes and was what many would call a dutiful housewife, you know, cooked for him, prepped his meals, was that supporting role. And um, in the last 10 years or so, she stepped more into her own entrepreneurial shoes and um, she still manages to maintain a lot of that supportive spousal role, and they do that for each other. I'm not trying to downplay because Tom is a very supportive husband as well. Um, and I think that should go without saying, but doesn't really. That it really a successful partnership takes two supporting partners, right? <laughs> anyway, Lisa is an exceptional supporting partner, as is Tom. That's probably why they're well-matched. Um, but in particular, she inspires me as I watch her do that. So um, in the videos that I've seen her in just recently, I think they're Facebook reels or something that have been popping up. And even as she is promoting her own work, she is constantly referring back to Tom and his success, not in a, not in a way that takes away from her own work, but in a way that really demonstrates what a supportive spouse she is. Another way that Lisa Bilyeu inspires me is in her courage, her courageousness. She um, openly shares some of her struggles with her own health issues, digestive issues. In her book, she goes into a pretty brutal example story. And I, um, so knowing that story, I see her refer to that very openly and regularly. And just in the last 24 hours, I saw her sharing a real about what she's eating in order to manage her digestive issues on a trip that they're taking and it um, is inspiring to me. So um, again, all these, you'll see a theme are interrelated because I'm me, so. <laughs> um, but Lisa Bilyeu inspires me in that regard in particular and has, especially in the last 24 hours. And another way that she inspires me is her fire, her willingness to step into a big role and she's this really petite woman and so not that that should matter but I think um it strikes me that she is she has a lot of fire and she like at the same time that she is very um supportive of her husband and of other people she's really um relentlessly supportive one might say and at the same time willing to step into her own she wears fantastic boots by the way which is just a special love of mine 
Um, she's got good shoes, that girl. <laughs> you can criticize that if you want. In in my uh, well, in my saying of that, I don't care. I like I like big boots, and I cannot lie. And she wears some good boots. Um, <laughs> and more than that, she's written and published a book. She um, has helped her and her husband's company flourish in ways that it certainly would not have without her fire energy that she's bringing to the table. So there are three ways that Lisa Bilyeu has inspired me in the last 24 hours. Her fire, her willingness to be vulnerable in public and share that, and her supportive nature, in particular of her being a supportive wife to her successful husband. There you have it. Three things about three people who have inspired me in the last 24 hours. Who's inspiring you and why? I would love it if you share that in the comments. I would also love it if you like and subscribe to this channel. It does help me out a lot. You can check out the description for other ways you can support me. And until next time, I'll be seeing you. Stay curious and courageous. And if you can, get more fit so you can be more free. Ciao for now.